Welcome to Mount Adams Pilgrim Chapel's online worship service for Sunday, August 9th, 2020. We're glad you could be with us today. We also hope that you are navigating through this challenging time well. If you have pastoral needs or family and friends who are in need of prayer, please let us know. Now, let us begin our service. Prelude from the G minor suite by Sibylle. by the waves, when the wind is against us, when we get in the boat, when we're terrified by our ghosts, when we seek you on the mountains, when we cry out in fear, when we start walking on water, when we begin to sink, when we are far from land. Lord, if it's you, speak to us, calm our fears, calm our storms. Strengthen our resolve. Remind us who you are. Walk to us. Call to us. Save us. Reach out your hand and catch us. Quiet the wind around us. Lord, if it's you, we worship you for truly you are the Son of God. Amen.
scripture comes to us from Matthew, uh, where we read the familiar story about how Jesus walks on the water. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me! Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt, Peter? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Amen. Still, The story of Jesus in the stormy sea is familiar to many folks, familiar with parables of Jesus. This parable is about faith and doubt expressed through the person of the disciple Peter. Join me this morning as we explore this scripture and see how we share Peter's feelings of faith and doubt, often at the same time. Faith is a wonderful thing. It's often what brings us to church, either to assure us of God's steadfast love or to seek God's assurance in times when we experience the storms of life. 
We are now being confronted by the storms of life. The pandemic is a reminder that a microscopic cell can threaten our lives in an instant. For most of us, it's the first time our lives have been threatened by such an epidemic. Our parents had to wage World War II and they had to wage the Depression, rationing meat and sugar and gas in order to preserve those things for the troops who were fighting a world war. For some, our parents had to wage the war against the Spanish flu of 1918. A good friend of mine was going through some family papers and ran across his father's birth certificate and a letter from the Cincinnati Reds. The letter read, due to the proliferation of the Spanish flu, I regret to inform you that you cannot report to spring training this year. My friend's dad who played baseball for UC was invited to play with the Reds and then denied because of this flu. There are youngsters today who have been cheated out of the chance, whether they play summer sports or who are in drama groups or wanted to go to summer camp. It's been disappointing for many people because of the flu. And the question of doubt will always be in their mind as they live out their lives and as they chase their dreams. Will Broadway call me again? Will that audition for the orchestra be there the next time? And yet at the same time, we have faith that yes, the doors of opportunity will open again and there'll be a future for me. Faith and doubt at the same time. Faith is de has been defined as walking into the darkness and then taking another step or opening a door only to find a dark spiral sta staircase, but still proceeding to move forward. When the storm of the Sea of Galilee was overwhelming for the disciples, Jesus appeared on the water. In faith, Peter stepped on the water and walked toward Jesus. All was going well until that subsequent surge came and Peter got scared and doubted and began to sink. Jesus caught him and saved him and said, O oh Peter, O oh ye of little faith, why do you doubt? The question then comes to us, is it wrong to doubt? As a pastor and teacher of the gospel, I believe it is perfectly normal and healthy to doubt. In fact, the theologian Paul Tillich says that faith and doubt go together. We are closest to developing a faith when we are in doubt and questioning our faith. Several years ago, my wife and I were invited to sail on Lake Erie with friends of ours who had a, a lovely 40-foot sailboat. The captain's wife would listen to the weather radio because many of you know how treacherous those waters can be and how the storms whip up on Lake Erie. She came out of the hold and said to my friend, who was the captain, Ralph, there's a storm coming. We need to get to shore. The captain whispered in my ear, good. He loves storms because he loved to see how Zenshu, that's the name of the boat, would do. Well, there we had it. The doubt of one was modified by the faith of the other, which is a good example of why we have a church community. When per one person is hurting and doubtful about where God is, there are others in our midst to assure us that all is well and can demonstrate a faith that works. When we begin to sink because of the storms of life, Jesus is there to catch our hand and bring us to safety. This has been demonstrated through the ages in our churches, our support groups, our prayer groups, our Sunday school classes, our Bible studies. My hunch is that nearly everybody has been the one in doubt who has reached out for help, has also been the very one who has reached out to help the other person in doubt and brought them into faith. So yes, it is okay to join Peter and to doubt because doubt and faith go together. In fact, doubt leads to faith and it is faith that carries us through the storms to a more peaceful life. Amen. This is Down in the River to Pray.
As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the star and crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brothers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. thank you for all of life and especially during this time when our lives are threatened by a pandemic or other illnesses or even our aging we ask you to be with those who especially are going through rough times who have suffered because of loss of life in their family or have serious illnesses to whom they are fostering and ministering to let us pause now as we name those persons in our own hearts. And oh God, we thank you for those people who are on the front lines, our doctors and nurses and technicians and surgeons and those who care for us, those EMT folks, first line of defense. Be with them and strengthen them as they power through this summertime. We give you thanks also for those who assist us when we are down and out and when we doubt in our faith. And we thank those who lift us up and who strengthen us to where we can have faith so that we can minister to others. And now we pray the prayer your son taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
And now may the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, be and abide in each of your hearts this day and forevermore. Go in peace according to your faith. Amen.